Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm showing you how to add a post carousel to your page with the help of Jet Elements plugin for Elementor. Let's grab the post widget from the Elements panel real quick and drop it onto a new section. And what it gives us is just three column layout. And in total, we have the post number set as three in here. But if you want to have a carousel, we will need more than three if we have three columns. So let's set it to six. And of course, if you want a carousel, you'll need to set the post number, which is bigger than the number of columns. All right, here, if you toggle the equal columns height to yes, the height of all of your columns will be the same. Plus, if you wanna use the archive template, just toggle this to yes. Here you choose what post type you want to use, and here have the query settings, or you can set the custom query. Here you choose how you want the feature image to be displayed as simple image or as a box background. Okay, if you choose it as a box background, it's going to become a background for all the other content you have, such as title, meta, excerpt, and button. So now let's scroll down and find the carousel tab in there. So in order to enable the carousel, just toggle this to yes. And it's going to turn your grid into a carousel. Here you set the minimal height of slides. Here you choose how many slides will be scrolled at once. Let me show you now. When I click on the button, it shows me only one item scrolling. But if you change it to two items, now there are appearing two of them. Okay. Now show arrows navigation. Arrows, as you can guess, are these buttons. Here you choose the type of the arrows that you want to use. Here you choose whether you want or not to use dots navigation. If you want the carousel to pause on hover, toggle this to yes. Here you choose whether you want or not to switch the autoplay, set the autoplay speed, the loop for the carousel, and the speed of the animation. Now what we want to do is to go to the style tab and go through the style settings for this carousel. Here goes the post item, where you can set the background for the item in there. Like so, let's increase the border radius just a little bit and set the padding to 10. All right, then there goes the image. And I'll also add the border radius in there. Then there goes the post item content, which is everything besides the image. And I just want to add some padding. Then there goes the title. I want to change the color of the title and the alignment. Then meta. Here we go. And I'm okay with the color of excerpt, but I just want to align it to the center. Then the button. I'll change the button color and align the button to the center as well. Then here go the settings for the carousel arrows. So I want to move them a little bit to the sides. Then I want to change their color. Also we have the dots over here. So let's go and change the style of these dots. So here we go, and now I'm done with my carousel. And that's looking pretty nice so far. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you so much for watching. Check out for more tutorials on our YouTube channel. And I see you in another one.